All right, here we go, Big Daddy Shin, day 597 at Performer Fitness. So today is going to suck pretty bad. Because not only did I wake up late, and I'm just going in here just to refresh before school. Um, I have back to school night tonight, long drive home, plus I got to actually do my full workout later at night. <laughs> so anyways, let's see how this goes, right? Uh, let's see what this machine's about. Oh. Okay, maybe it's not the funnest one. Okay, I'm having trouble. Okay, I think I gotta get used to this machine. All right. Okay, so I gotta do my workout later in the day. Oh, but uh, it's going in there. Take a break from my drive. That's what it is. But you know what? A good way to start the day. Right? Oh. So yeah, now I gotta teach all day. Back to school night. And go for it. Alright. Anyways, part two later. Alright, here we go. Big Daddy Shin Day 597 at 24 Fitness. Part two. So yeah, it's in the morning. Yeah, I woke up late, got to 24 Fitness over at Victorville, and uh, you know, did my thing. Well, I mean, I didn't really do anything. I tried that Stairmaster thing, that sucked. But you know, I had a full day afterwards, so I got to teach my classes and everything, and, and well, yeah, get ready for the, the show at back to school night. And then so, that one was uh, pretty fun. Got to meet a lot of parents face to face. And I am super happy that I got this job. I, I tell you that all the time. And people say that because, oh, you're saying that because, you know, what if they're watching your videos? It doesn't really matter because the thing is, it's, it's pretty awesome on the situation that I got. Let me check in. Okay, so when I talk about perfect fit, right? So it's like what I met a lot of the parents today, right? Actually, every parent I met was super cool. And they're able to see the stuff that we're able to do. Oh, best part was my students, they finally got to sing all the good singers sung with each other, right? And then they were super awesome. And they were able to see the joy on music, right? Hold on, let me give it a drink. So, yeah, they're able to see and hear what it's like to sing with like a really awesome group and so they were excited about their stuff and then the parents were excited about their stuff and guess what my superintendent was there and he was excited about the stuff so i think i'm making an impact okay so hold on let me get on there's no place like home there's no place like home. I think I'm gonna hit the 268 soon. All right. All right, so yeah, the whole thing about making an impact, right? It's like, it's like the perfect storm. They got me in this district. Everybody I met was super cool. My buddy Carlos over there, he is like my, He's half Korean, half Mexican, right? So it's like he's the best of both worlds. Or like brothers, right? He does band, I do choir. And then so, uh, just working together, and then also the kids, they bought into all my program and everything. I mean, you, you do have those kids that don't, yeah, I get it, right? But today, I had like 80 kids that were on fire, and it was, it's like magical. And then so, I mean, you know, I experienced this stuff before. I mean, you've seen me do my stuff. Some of you guys did. But they never did. And also the parents, they were just shocked to see all this excitement going on. And then, you know, my principal got to see the assistant principals. And it was, uh, you know, the parent, the parent involvement, it's awesome. So most of the parents have my cell phone number. And then, so this is one of those things where, you know, I think that teachers and the parents should have that type of communication where they could just call me for anything. 
right? I mean, am I going above and beyond my scope of duty? Probably. But the thing is, since the parents took the time to go to back to school night and meet me, and meet their other, I did, they want the best for their students. And then so, I think it's because I'm stuck there anyway. When I drive there, you know, I've, I could help out with whatever I could do. So if they need me to help them with something else on school-wise or whatever, with a success for their kid, great, let's do it, right? So it feels really good. And then, uh, um, but anyways, a lot of these people, they're pretty excited about what I do. So we got to see if we could keep it up. So, you know, I'm in show-off mode. It's my first year, and I got to do the best I possibly can. And my kids are making it super easy for me because it's like I enjoy... I always went, enjoyed going to my classes. Don't get me wrong. Okay? Like, you know, even last year, the Buena Park, especially going to Beatty and Emory. Oh, my gosh. Those, those, those are some amazing times, right? But, you know, I only see them once a week. And then, uh, I mean, I, I really liked my junior high kids a lot last year, but, you know, some were on board with what I did, some didn't. They liked their old teacher better, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? Doesn't matter anymore. Before that, when I was at Stevenson, oh, those were the classes. Those are some, those are some really fun times over there, too, right? But I'm glad that these different schools got it, you know, you've experienced me. When I taught the elementary schools in South Central, oh, you know, some of them still contact me. And then when I was in Fremont, working with Harold, so yeah, I my stores from there. But, you know, I mean, it's like memories all along the way. Best part is that anybody who uses a shin kid is uh, knows what experience they have in my class. But these kids, I don't think the kids or the teachers, not teachers, the kids or their parents ever experience anything like this. Not saying that I'm the greatest teacher in the world. I'm not. But I know that I have the fire and energy where I'm willing to try cutting edge things if they work, we make history. If we don't, no, get back up and try again, right? So there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna do this year. Hopefully they work. Um, they will work. But even if even if we don't achieve 100% of what we get, I know that we're gonna achieve an amazing level. It's going to change lives. So, yes. Today I'm going to bask in the thought of making an impact. Now I know, you know, it's one of those things where I'm still trying to work out all the, you know, I don't know, nicks? Is that what they call it? You know, but all the, all the stuff of my plan trying to wake up early, get there, gym, and stuff. I mean, yeah, it takes time, but I'm still going through the motion. But what I do know is once I'm at Victorville, at my school, then I'm going to do my best. Because weird, it's, 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 it's a weird feeling, because this one, it's like, you know, my kids at the other schools, they always had all, so many different things that they could possibly do. But here, I know that I'm bringing the entertainment value of school to these kids, and they're, they're really digging it. And then for me to watch people go from being a shy person to outgoing, uh, it's really rewarding. And, it, 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 and it's only been there for a month. Now, is it going to feel like this forever? Probably not, but I am going to see some of my kids get really good. I'm going to see some of my kids grow up to be awesome. 
unfortunately, I'm going to see some of my kids turn out bad too. I mean, it always happens. But it's like, I'm hoping that like it'll be a minimal. But at least that these kids will have me in their lives. Yes. Some people think it's a good thing. Some people think it's a bad thing. But I don't know. But like I said, it's not all roses and unicorns. I do have those kids that don't like me too. Always happens. What can you do? It's like that person the other day that unliked one of my videos. I'm like, you know, whatever. If you don't like me, don't watch me. For you guys that are watching, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Anyways, I feel pretty good. Except that I have to be on here for an hour. But probably got to pay for back to school night. So. Alright, there you go. Day 597 in the books. So, yeah, time to go home. I am super tired, super duper tired. And let me stop by right here really fast. Alright, see you later. Okay, so, yes. I'm out. I didn't sweat enough for the outside to feel good for me. I'm gonna go home, take a shower. It's gonna great. Right. So, I was sitting there pondering all the different things that I could do. So, I'm gonna teach a bunch of Spanish songs starting September 1st, right? Which is actually, well, it's gonna be next week. And then, so for Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm gonna go for it. So for this week, I gotta teach a couple songs. That means I gotta get there a little bit early tomorrow, print out the words, photocopy them, and it's game time. So, you know, probably teach another five songs. They're gonna go, oh, what are all these songs? What are these songs? But, you know, it's all new to my students. So it's a great feeling. There's my car, my eyes hurt too. Is this my car? This dirty one. Yes, there it is. Okay. But anyways, I'm happy how things are going. And I am excited. So I'm still basking on how awesome the day went. And it feels like I am making an impact. And I'm pretty excited. And I don't know why my thing's so foggy. Okay, whatever. Anyways, gotta go. Big Daddy Shin, day 597. If I could exercise 597 days in a row, you could exercise 597 days in a row. So if I could do it, you could do it. And I'm doing it. Making an impact. Yes. See you next time.